Hello friends, welcome to Nursing Basics. Today we are study about muscles of the body and list of muscles of the body. Do you know there are 639 muscles in the body and the functions together to work properly and movement and locomotion of the body. So all the muscles of the body are categorized on the seven divisions. They are muscles of face, muscles of neck, muscles of the back, muscles of the abdominal wall, muscles of the pelvic floor, muscles of the upper limb, muscles of the lower limb. So first muscles of the face. Muscles of the face are responsible for all kinds of facial expression. They have one bony attachment and the other attachment is in the skin of face. Therefore, contraction of these muscles leads to different kinds of emotional expression. So the list of muscles of face are occipital frontalis, levator palpebris superioris, orbicularis oculi, boxinator, orbicularis oris, masseter, temporalis, and pterygoid. Then muscles of the neck. Muscles of the neck acting together to flex the neck one side to another side. There are two muscles in the neck. They are sternocleidomastoid and trapezius. Then muscles of the back. Muscles of the back are helps in spinal function and are attached to the back of spine. These muscles allow us to stand and lift objects. They are trapezius, teres major, latissimus dorsi, psoas, quadratus lumborum and sacrospinalis lumborum. Then muscles of the abdominal wall. Muscles of the abdominal wall helps to compress the abdominal contents and supports them flexion and rotation of trunk, micturation, parturition, defecation and vomiting. Muscles of the abdominal wall are rectus abdominis, external oblique, internal oblique, transverse abdominis and quadratus lumborum. Then muscles of pelvic floor. Pelvic floor muscles have two major functions. Number one, they provide support or act as a floor for the abdominal viscera including the rectum. Number two, constrictor or continence mechanism to the urethral anal and vaginal orifices in females. The muscles of pelvic floor are levator ani and coccygeus. Then the muscles of upper limb. The primary purpose of the upper limb is to move the hand around the body during the activities of life. The shoulder griddle provides a wide range of motion exceeding a hemisphere so that the hand may reach in all directions of the body. So the muscles of upper limb are deltoid, pectoralis major, coracobrachialis, biceps, triceps, brachioradialis, brachialis, pronator quadratus, pronator teres, supinator, flexor carpi radialis, flexor carpi ulnaris, extensor carpi radialis longus and brevis, extensor carpi ulnaris, palmaris longus and extensor digitorum. These muscles are all responsible for movement of hand and movement of arm. Then the muscles of lower limb. Muscles of lower limb is designed to extend the leg at the knee joint and stabilizes the patella. Support of weight, adaptation to gravity 
and locomotion is the function of lower limb muscles. The muscles of lower limb are iliacus, quadriceps femoris, obturators, gluteals, sartorius, abductor groove, hamstrings, gastrocnemius, anterior tibialis, and soleus. So for today, this much. In later, we will study about all the individualized muscles, their origin, insertion, and their individualized functions.